living where we live, uh, fish is a very, very important part of our diets, and I, I, that's why I'm so anxious to get to this next recipe. Kim Berto from Paul's Bow is going to do halibut cakes with tarragon sauce. And halibut, I, I think, has to be my favorite fish, even more so than salmon. Now, don't hit. Uh, yeah. But uh, really, halibut, I think, is a, almost a perfect white fish. I, it, I would have to agree with that. Yeah, okay, it's now, one of my favorites. Halibut cakes with tarragon sauce. We've got yep. a lot of things in front of us. We I guess do. we better get cooking here. Let's get started. Oh, okay. First thing I want to do is get the halibut actually processed. Now, I've cut it already in one inch cubes. We're going to need that. Okay, I'll hold second, on to it. So don't run off with it. Um, I'm just going to pulse it. I don't want to. Um, we're not making cream of halibut soup. No cream, okay. We just want it um, coarsely ground. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the bowl and we're going to get a few other things mixed in with it. <clears throat> the one egg and a, oh, I need my rubber spatula right in front of me, of course, that's where it Some would be. Some mayonnaise? Yep. Some mayonnaise in there. And would then... It be, would it have to be mayonnaise or could you use like Miracle Whip or something like um, that? You certainly could. If I'm a Midwestern girl, you know, that. so that might be what I would use and, and capers. capers yep that i've chopped oops, oops sorry mm. garlic and yes these all are going to be good yes that adds a lot of flavor to it so you first bet. we have our binder with our egg and the mayonnaise and then we have these flavoring, flavoring ages. Yes, yes, onion yes. Mm -hmm. and then salt and pepper and a pinch of cayenne just a little mm. bit of heat <laughs> in there we'll save this we're probably going to need it later i'm just going to mix all this together and then we're going to add the halibut cakes right to it. Can you smell that? That uh, smells wonderful. It does. it does. I love the smell of capers mm -hmm. together. And we and also so oh, nice we do fish. Oh, yes, yes. This recipe was originally a uh, halibut burger, which you could use it as a halibut burger. One of the great things about it is halibut can be a little bit expensive when it's out of season. It can be. And so I like to do this is little, make it into little appetizers. Oh, very nice. Um, small, so you can put mm -hmm. them on a salad, mm -hmm. and then you um, can make one pound go a, a lot long way. further. Yes, yeah. yes. So we can get rid of this. Mm, lemon. Yes. And I love the yellow. The zest. All the zest in there. Is incredible. Well, that still That's is where pretty, so much flavor. It's pretty together, isn't it? Is it that... It's, yeah, just a coarse grind on yeah. that. You don't want to tear it apart. So this is when my favorite tool comes in handy. The gloves. The, the gloves, gloves, yes, they will keep me from getting completely messed up. Yep. And that we through with. And in it goes, all of it in the bowl. Okay. And I'm just going to mix this together. Are we going to need this again? Um, no, we'll go grab okay. the clean one all there. Right, that'll for be fine. Tarragon sauce. So in it all goes together, and then I'm going to Are those panko crumbs? Yep, half a cup of panko. I love panko. For those of you who aren't familiar with panko, they are uh, Asian breadcrumbs, Japanese breadcrumbs. Yeah, once you use them, you know, I find that they it's can hard spoil to go you. back. Yeah, it's like a good wine. Yes. Don't drink good wine if you can only afford cheap, because you can't go back. <laughs> OK, so I am going to just form these into a couple cakes. Oh, you know what we've missed in here was our, our dill. Oh, can, and I, oh. can I quick squish that up for you? Yeah, I can just do a really fast chop on that, and that goes in as well. And then that would get mixed in. And, and it goes, just quickly mix it in there together, and gets formed into quick, easy cakes. So we're going to have halibut cakes. Yeah, right. yeah, and you could make them larger and make them burgers. You know, you could make these yeah. small Ice and cakes. make sliders on little Yeah, wouldn't buns. that be fun? Yeah, I think yep. that would be really fun with some yeah. sweet potato fries. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, and tarragon <laughs> sauce. That's next, right? Okay. So just like that, that you form them into simple cakes, and this is where you can decide big or small. Big or small, right? Whatever and then do you size. chill these before you cook them? I do. I chill them for 30 minutes because that kind of binds everything together. They're much less likely to fall apart Correct. when you're cooking the them. Pan. They have yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. period of chilling. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. And we don't even have to do all these. Now, do we have we some have that are some, chilled or are we going to cook yeah, these Yeah, we off? have some ready to go that okay, I've been chilling. Okay, we have some in the, in the refrigerator, yes, George. Yes, we do. 
Or well, I sure hope we do. Well, I think we will. <laughs> These are beautiful. I can't wait to try this. Look yeah, what, that's just look what I found. It's very oh wow. <laughs> this is awesome. <coughs> I love it when it works that way. <laughs> okay, beautiful. so these I'm also, um, I have more panko okay. because we put a half a cup in and that helps to bind it together. Mm -hmm. But then I am also going to dredge it in some Very nice. just before frying. And we put nice these in, crunch. yeah, about medium, medium high heat, okay. heat on this. And we're ready? And then, yeah, in they go. And you can see how these are just really holding together. Mm -hmm. Just like a burger, they just are And that's really sort of holding aggressive. it together even, even more. Yeah, see how nice yeah. it's holding together? And it creates a nice crust down there having the panko on the outside. The crust has got a lot of taste in it too. Oh yeah, I love <laughs> it when it's yeah. crunchy. You bet. It's that brownness. Yep, yep. Part of what makes it all great. One more. We'll get rid of that. All right. Okay, and now we, while those are cooking, we need to whip up the tarragon. Okay. So this is an awesome sauce, which you can actually make ahead of time, because it actually gets a little bit better as it sets. What do you need? But those are, that's actually garnish for okay. later. I need a uh, spatula is what I need. Spatula. Here, dig this stuff out go. of here. So we have a cup of sour cream. I didn't say this was healthy. You but could use non-fat sour cream. You could use non-fat, yep. Or even light, you know, just to right, reduce a little bit. And then mayonnaise. Again, and you could use the low fat. Yep. Actually, this is low fat mayonnaise. So there we go. And are. onion. Oh boy. And it's one of the great things about uh, food processors because they do all the work for you. Don't you don't have to chop any of this yes, stuff, isn't it great? Yes, you just yes. toss it in. I do give the um, chives a little bit of a snip because sometimes they right. get wrapped around the blade. Yeah, they yeah can, they do. They can kind of have that problem sometimes. Let's see, we got to get a bit of salt and pepper in there. Oh, yeah. Um, and that's kind of a to taste sort of thing. If you wanted to do a little chili pepper, you could. Ooh, okay. And then there <laughs> is, you could if you want to add a little more heat. I love heat in the kitchen. Okay, and then we have a couple teaspoons of Dijon mustard. I love Dijon. All right. Mm. And this. And then, of course, the parsley. Brought my little vase right from my refrigerator. Very nice. Put it in there and cover it with a plastic produce bag, mm -hmm. and it's just great. It, it lasts for, a for long weeks, time. isn't it? Yeah. And rarely do I throw my herbs away when I do that. So we need about a cup of that in there, and then it's ready to go again. This is why you need more than one. Yeah. More than one bowl. More yeah. than one bowl. Or, or you could make this the day before, and then it has a chance right. to run through the yep. dishwasher and come out. There that you go. Work. Is it, would it be a good idea to let it sit for a day? Um, oh, yeah. The, the sauce? Yeah, the tarragon sauce. The flavors will just get that much better. Great. And this sauce can be used as dips. I've used it in potato salads before. Oh, I think that's great. And oh, that's um, with idea. it's awesome with salmon. The same exact recipe is incredible to use salmon with it also. And you could use any kind of firm white fish, but halibut, as George said, is solid. Okay, so what do we okay, do now? So here is our sauce, and we're ready to add it to it. Good stuff, George. Right, there we go. We will prevail. And I guess um, we can just pour some right in here. It makes a great dip for with crackers and vegetables. And Great way so, you know, to squeeze. If you had it. some left over, that would make a great dip for watching a football game. Or Absolutely, it's a great chip dip. Yeah. Even. Yep. It's um, really, and then they, they're just gorgeous. The they're beautiful. Beautiful. Like that. <laughs> that's beautiful. Now, are they done? Are they cooking that long? It's going to be that many. Um, it's about about four minutes on each side. Yeah. You know, really? it really does not take um, that long. Um, so, George, you ready to try through? this? I sure am. We have am. to try sure it with some I. of this. Now, you have to get some of my and other... And what's that red stuff? Yeah, the, the red stuff here is actually um, oven-roasted tomatoes. It's another awesome recipe, which is in the cookbook. So you... Oh, um, those are beautiful. It just they makes are. an incredible garnish. And so it looks... I better put one on there for each of you, right? I don't, exactly. I don't want any fighting. We don't want any uh, violence. No, no. No. I have lots of brothers and sisters. I've seen it lots is, of fighting. It is. It's beautiful. 
I know I want, I want more pilot. The oven roasted right. tomatoes, that, I'm so glad that's going to be in the cookbook as well because you can get miles out of that recipe. And it's a thing to do. Mm -hmm. Very versatile. And when you it has extra tomatoes. Yes, and, and it can be. Mm. Or if you only want to make this, that would be just fine, folks. But really, <laughs> that is delicious. But I mean, call that's not us good. before that's you delicious. make this because we're going to want to come to dinner. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> it's just great. It is absolutely. Please, please get the recipes. You'll, you'll enjoy them. There's over 500 in the book. Uh, you'll never be able to do all the recipes. You, you won't. But boy, will you have fun trying. Give us a call, please, at, uh, let's see, 1-800-443-1999, and talk to our wonderful volunteers. They're doing a great job for us, and they'll do a great job for you getting you this uh, recipes Thank to you. put into Thank your you. kitchen and into your family. Call us. Thank you. That's wonderful. Thank you.